Eight, five, four, zero, seven. You want to try that again? You got it. We got a guy. Go paint him. <laughs> Thank you, Carl. All right. I'm going to bring out my first puppet. His name is Grandpa. Grandpa, come on out. You don't want to come out. Yeah, everybody's here. I'm going to come out now. Good. Don't close the door. You close the door. Okay, I'm sorry. Come on out here. Oh, my door fell open. That's okay. That hurt. It didn't hurt. It fell on my head. It didn't fall on your head. Hi. Hi, everybody. Look, I'm flying. You're not flying. You're just hanging out. I'm hanging out. It's great to be here. Oh, what a beautiful day. There's a there's a stink bug up there. Yeah. There's a stink bug everywhere. You know a stink bug? No. They're everywhere, aren't they? What's going on? They're just coming out right now. It's their time. I hate stink bugs. They get in my drink, Doug. No, stop it. What are you looking for? I lost my teeth. You lost your teeth a long time ago. Where? I don't know where. How'd I lose them? You probably didn't brush them. I didn't brush my hair either. And the... Oh, you have to brush things. Like teeth and hair, yeah. I'm going to brush my shoes because I don't... Uh-oh. What's the matter? I put my corrective shoes on backwards again. Okay. They're making me pigeon toes. You're not pigeon toes. You're fine. What's this here? We got nice kids here having a good time here at the Zinzi Club picnic. This is a nice, beautiful place. Good thing you didn't have it yesterday, huh? Yeah, we got rained out at a picnic. Yeah, that was a very bad storm. I'll tell you that much. It scared me. Are you afraid of lightning? Yeah, it scares the stuffing out of me. Okay. Anyways, we're having a great day today. That's all the news. Grandpa, look at our stink dog here. Would you sit? Up here. I'm going to the light. Don't go to the light. Get back here. A lot of here. Don't just go out of here because you went. Okay. You know what? What? Let's ask the kids our three words of wisdom. They don't feel like asking you. Well, you're going to ask them. I don't learn none of them. No, the first one is to always try. Try what? 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 Sorry, Bobby Z. I hit your microphone. Would you stop that? Sounds like a helicopter coming. I think it says UTMC on it, doesn't it? But what doesn't? Okay. So let's ask the kids what their hobbies are. What's a hobby? A hobby is something you like to do. I have one. What's your hobby? Sleeping. Leave me alone. <laughs> Grandpa, what? Would you sit up? Sorry. I fell. I thought you fell. There. We're going to ask them what their hobbies are? Yes. What can a hobby be? A hobby could be what I do, playing with dolls. No. Yeah, no. You play with dolls. No, you, you play with dolls, dude. Stop it. <laughs> Is anybody here into athletics? Athletics? Yeah, like sports. Sports? Yeah. That could be a hobby. Yes, that's it. Here's one right here. Can, can you take me over so I can ask her a question? Yes, you may. Okay, dear, what's your name? Alexa. This is Alexa here. Alexa, what is your hobby? You are a soccer player. Are you a professional soccer player by any chance? Do you play for any uh, professional teams? No, you don't. Will you when you get older? It could happen, huh? Anybody else have a hobby they like that? What's your hobby? What do you like to do? Do you they still play? Huh? He's a dog trainer. He can help you, dog. Would you stop it? Do you like to train dogs? Oh, that's cool. That's a very good job to do. What's your hobby? She studies marine biology. That's when you, they get home from the war, you cut them open and look inside. No, that's not it. No, that's if I'm animals. I'm from the ocean. Do you, or do you know how to swim? Did you watch Shark Week all week? I knew she was into that, huh? They love them sharks. They're amphibious. They're amphibious. No, they're not. What is your hobby? Singing. Did I see you on um, Singing with the Dancing Star? No, that's not a show. Or is it Dancing with the Singer? No. And the Thread of Stare, Gene Kelly, do you know them? You don't know them. You know Justin Timberlake or uh, Dirty Steers was in town yesterday, yeah. He had a little show there. That's good. She's going to be a singer and dancer. What's your hobby? What do you like to do? Are you another singer, huh? That's good. You practice singing. You could be a millionaire. That's right. Anybody else like to play sports or have any good hobbies that they like? Yes, what's your hobby? Drink over there. You like to play softball, huh? Did you play softball on the team this year? You did? How'd you guys do? They won most of the games. That's good, right? You kicked the key sports, right? Yeah, good job. We got to get the key sport and beat them. Well, that's good. That's good. She's very competitive. That's all right. 
You know what? I'm the Pirates were competitive for a while there. <laughs> they, were, they were hanging in there. Huh, Joe? Anyway, let's go back to the podium. Okay, so those are all good things. Oh, look, I crossed my leg. <laughs> Stop that. I think I got golf. No, you don't. So, the second word of wisdom meant, Grandpa, what? Pay attention. How long are you <laughs> The second word of wisdom is to, um, there's sunshine, okay? Never tell a lie. Never tell a lie. Like you did. What? Yeah, you told a lie. Well, how would you, why would you say I told a, what are you looking at? You got a bat in the cave. Would you stop that? Your nose is big. What the, what are you saying that for? Because you told a lie. Your nose got big, just like I know. How do you know that? I read about it. You read about somebody's nose getting big because they told a lie? Yeah. Who would that be? I don't know, but he lived in the Poconos. He lived in the Poconos? Yeah. Maybe his name was Pinocchio. Yeah. Yeah, that, and he lived in the Poconos. The town was named after him because he was famous. He was made out of very famous wood. No. His name was Pinocchio, and he lived in New York. No, he didn't live in New York. He lived in Europe. Over in Europe? What's he doing here? Trying to come to America and make it rich, huh? Just like all the other ones. Well, it's the land of opportunity, not lately, okay? You know what we need to do? What? We need to ask you why you think your nose gets big when you tell a lie. Because you told a lie and your nose got thick. You have to tell a lie? Yes, I did tell a lie. What'd you say? I dropped the glass. You spill all the beer out of it? No. You know how to clean up though? No, it wasn't here. Where? At home. That's not a lie, Chris. That's an accident. You just told, you had a little accident, you dropped the glass, and that's it. The other thing was all fixed up, right? Nobody even knew. Well, what happened? Well, it was, I didn't tell my mom that I did it. That's called a secret. No, that's not a secret. She asked me. That's a lie. You kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. And that's why your nose got so big? No, it's not how you're... That's just a story. Why would you tell a story about your nose getting big? I didn't. It was a story about somebody who wrote something about a kid. It was to teach children not to tell a lie. You should never tell a lie. I'll bet you somebody could have got hurt when you did that. Right? No. Right? No. You look like you feel bad. I feel bad. Why? Because somebody got hurt. Who? My brother. Which one? Mark. Good. I don't like him much. Well, that's not nice. What happened? He stepped on the glass. You know, if you'd have told your mom or dad, they'd have helped you clean that up. You shouldn't tell a lie, pal. Okay, so that's a learn, a lesson, a lesson that I learned. You learned that lesson good, right? When I was a kid, once I touched a light bulb. Oh, it hurt my finger. It burnt your finger. Yeah, that hurt really good. It was bad. So did you learn a lesson? Another to touch a light bulb, that's for sure. I never did that again without turning it off. Okay, so we learn our lessons through our mistakes. That's right, if you're in school and you make a mistake, that's okay, don't feel bad. You learned a lesson right there. You'll get smarter. That's right, that's right. So let's go to our third word of wisdom. What would that be? That would be to set your goals high. Up in that tree? No, not in that tree. I'll set my goal up in that tree. What kind of goal? A gargoyle. A gargoyle? Yeah. You should gargoyle, pal. <laughs> Got some bad breath. What, are you eating stink bugs? Oh, come on. Now, you should set your goal. Why? Because it's what you want to be when you grow up. See, if you set your goal up here, yeah, you can pick apples. No. You set your goal up here when you grow up, that's where you'll be. Does anybody know what they want to be when they grow up? Do you think you... I know what she wants to be. She wants to be a Marine. Not a Marine. Let's ask her and she can tell us herself. What are you going to be when you get older? Oh, no. A Marine. Biologist. You're going to be a marine bi bi bilingual and marine. That way you can uh, get through the enemy line. Okay. A marine biologist, she's going to swim a lot. You know how to use a subcutaneous underwater breathing apparatus? What's that? Scuba gear. Scuba gear? Yeah. You know who invented that? Who invented that? Jacques Cousteau. Jacques Cousteau? Yep. True that. True that. Does anybody else want to know what they want to be when they get older? What do you want to be? Alexa's going to be a nurse. How about that? And she's going to take care of me because I'm tired. And I'm going to the light. No, don't go to the light. What do you want to be? He's going to be a, a, an ant farmer. How, how deep you got to plant them things? <laughs> what? A space, an astronaut. He's going to be, what are you going to be? A policeman. What do you want to be? She's going to be a pet shop owner. How about that? What's your favorite kind of animal? Stink thugs. <laughs> a horsey. Did you see the horsies over there? Aren't they beautiful? What do you want to be? You're going to be a dentist. Show them your teeth. All right. Here. Are you going to be a dentist? Here, show this. Watch this. What are you doing, pal? <laughs> I'm getting something. 
You're going to make me a set of teeth like this? How about that? The you know, dentist pulled them out of my mouth. They didn't pull them out. Put those away. I'm sorry. Why do you have them on a chain? I don't lose them. Those things are about 800 bucks a set, okay? So you put it on a chain? Yeah. Well, how come you're not wearing them right now? They gag me. Okay. Chain goes down my neck. Ah, stop that. Sorry. Anybody else know what they want to be when they get older? Yes? She's going to be a pet doctor. That's a vet. She's not going to be a car. No, she said a vet. She said a pet doctor. That's a vet. She's not a car. It's not a car. That's a veterinarian. What, she doesn't like meat? No. She... That's a vegetarian. Oh, what are you? I'm a ventriloquist. I'm confused. What do you want to be? A singer. How about that? And that's her hobby, too. See, that's a classic case. Now, he used to play with dolls when he was a kid. Hey, what? I didn't play with dolls when I was a Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I know the name of your first doll. What was it? Ken. I didn't have Ken. You have Barbie? No. Did you have a little pink car with that there, Chris? No. Chris, Chris. Oh, how cute. Okay. You know what? They were puppets. What was the name of your first puppet? Hottie Duty. Don't swear in front of the kids. No, I'm not swearing. His name was Hottie Duty. <gasps> you son of a bad lord. I did not. It's his name. Oh. You said Duty. No. <laughs> Would you stop it? Sorry. You know what? I'm going to bring out another puppet. Good thing I'm not a puppet. What? I said, I'm glad I'm not a puppet. You are a puppet. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not a puppet. I'm the grandpa. I came here on my own two feet. Right there. Two feet. Would you stand on them? Why? Because I'm going to show you that you're a puppet. I dare you. Okay, stand up. Okay, pal. You go ahead and make my day, okay? Now, reach behind you. I don't want to reach behind you. Reach behind you. Why? Wait a minute. <laughs> what is that? That's my elbow. Thank goodness. I was going to call a doctor. <laughs> Wait a minute. There's a hole in my back. Yes, there's a hole in my What is there a hole in my back for? Because you're... Wait. There's something in my stomach. My forearm. And you're not a doctor? Call the cops. No, don't call the cops. What's in my neck? What's in your neck? Yeah. There's something in it. It's my wrist. So that means your hand? Yes. It's in your head. Why are you shaking? Because I'm old. <laughs>